a lot of my friends are like, isn't it hard when he's away and when he's traveling? And isn't that hard for you to miss your husband all the time? And I always joke saying, you know, it's kind of nice because he'll be gone and I'll be, you know, missing him. And then he comes home for a while and I'm like, okay, it's time to go again. <laughs> Uh, the balance that we have is, is great and yeah, it's tough for him to be away from the kids and from me, but absence makes the heart grow fonder and you know, it works well for our family. Being a father to two uh, boys now, it's pretty awesome, man. It's pretty special to have the you know, flexibility and um, to be able to be a part of, of what they're doing now you know, with uh, all the sports they're playing and, you know, being able to make the practices and games and, you know, be there. And I'm not pushing these boys to do anything they don't want. And, uh, you know, if it's wakeboarding that they want to do, then that's fine. No problem. We can get out, get out in the boat right now. And, you know, if it's hockey, soccer, basketball, t-ball crews, it's just, um, yeah, it's all good with me as long as they're busy and being active. And, I mean, as parents, I feel like that's kind of your duty to, you know, give your kids the opportunity, so. Yeah, how cool is this, Merrick's fully into hockey. A little bit different, he's not out on the frozen lake uh, shoveling snow off the skate, but we're doing our best here in Florida to give him uh, that Canadian upbringing as best as possible. You know, Rusty and I really met when we were just kids. I mean, we thought we were mature and we were old and, you know, we were ready to get married and have kids, and we were, and we did, but, I mean, we were really just babies ourselves. Just doing this all over again after Merrick four or five years ago. Now starting all over and using the same old equipment and seeing him out there. Hand me down. Yeah, a glove that literally was disintegrating. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's been having fun. And not sure what sport will be his favorite, but it's been a blast so far. Oh, vitamins. This is our daily routine here. Me and Merrick. Oh, I gotta scoot back. He wants me farther back. Oh! oh. Nice. Uh, double. What's your cat's name again? King. He's a boy. <laughs> no way. Look at this. Look at that. I didn't even know I still had this. 2009, I landed the first ever 1080 in Reno in contest. Off the double up. <laughs> black Merrick, black and orange one. Then we change the shape. This is the second shape. I was like the two way color. Yeah, these. This one is. Second time around with Aaron, we came up and we changed the, uh, the Merrick shape and we called it the Cruz because by that time I had my second son and I named him Cruz so it was only fitting to name my second pro model after my second son so I had the Merrick and the Cruz. To be a part of a company I've been Hyperlite 10 years so it's pretty cool to be uh, have a company that has your back for that long goes through the good and the bad times with you doesn't just catch your ass. <laughs> there, I mean, there's only one outcome that can happen when you floor your car at someone, you're gonna hit them. And they're either gonna get super hurt, die, or not get hit, you know what I mean? On a scenic road in Claremont, running by Lake Minnehaha, deputies believe a man created a scene, cutting off a woman and her husband driving on Lakeshore Drive Sunday and following them to the Circle K at Kingfisher Drive. That's when deputies say John Apple purposely injured the man by running right into him. But in Apple's arrest report, a deputy writes he could see the man walk into the travel lane, then soon after the Mustang begins to rapidly accelerate and strike the victim. That alleged victim, Rusty Malinowski, is a well-known professional wakeboarder getting ready to start the season. Instead, he tells me he's nursing a broken leg. And to make matters worse, Malinowski's nine-year-old watched his dad get hit by the car. It was a tough year for sure. Um, physically whatever get hurt all the time break bones and you know that that's just like that's just nothing compared to the psychological part of some dude trying to smoke or try to kill you with this car i don't know you can you know mask the 
emotions with a substance and you know drinking too much because it was like a way for me to like not have to like think about it as much and stress about it and you know that that was a, a way for me to hide that feeling of the of how I was feeling so it was a, a low a low the lowest time of my life by for sure by far um, you know you know not being a you know a good role model for my kids um, getting uh, getting my act together and, and getting out of that slump was was a huge a huge step and feels like uh, you know a thousand pounds has been lifted off me now that I'm you know back in back in action and fortunately for me I you know I got my shit together I snapped out of it and I um, got back on track to to who I am and it's always obviously going to be a part of a part of my story but you know stress and worry will be the death of you so um, left that shit in the past positive happy and um, going for it so we back Thank you.